Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali, I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law through this channel. I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if you're yes. aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. So not 201 consecutive trades, we do take into account losses. So further details about how to join us for less than $9 a month. Information is available in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be looking at news with regards to the first Democrat senator join the campaign. And we're also going to be looking at news of 40,000 letters sent so far to uh, Congress as well as other developments. So before we get uh, started, let's have a look at what's happening in the market. So first headline here from CNBC, Wall Street sell-off intensifies, Dow Jones loses 300 points after the Fitch uh, downgrade. So uh, not a great day in the market overall. The Nasdaq Composite Index shed 2% and it's headed, headed currently for its worst day since February 2023. And the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average also down to, uh, to 327 points or not 0.9 percent uh so uh and uh pull back in the s p 500 of 1.3 percent so a uh, very difficult day in the market in other developments i'd like to share with you here is a list of the 20 most shorted companies uh by percentage of float july 25th 2023 and i think the interesting company on this list is um meta materials mmat which has um 14.7 uh, percent of the float that is currently sold short amongst many other companies uh, and the other developments today uh, there has been earnings uh, news with regard to amd and the headline here from reuters is amd shares are falling as analysts worry about the ai chip target may be ambitious Let's now have a look at the news with regard to the Democrat senators. Shout out here to Colleen Tripp, who stated high ranking Democrat has jumped on board. Uh, we'll add more after getting the OK from their office. And I literally started crying after I received the email. So again, special thanks uh, to Colleen. And uh, in a follow up message, what she has posted is official. Thank you, Mark Warner, esteemed Senate Democrat from Virginia for taking on my case and by default the cases of 65,000 MMTLP shareholders across the world. So again, special thanks to Mark Warner and also Colleen Tripp for reaching out. So uh, again, more evidence that reaching out to um, senators and Congress, uh, obviously Republican and Democrat is making a difference. So uh, this is the um, Senator concerned. It's Mark Warner, US Senator for Virginia, who's also the chairman of the Senate Intel Committee. Uh, so go ahead and give Mark a follow and uh, show him some appreciation. So I'm going to share with you the letter that Mark has sent to Colleen. And uh, we can see here it says, thank you for being in touch. I appreciate the trust and confidence you have shown in me by contacting me with your letter in which you requested my assistance with the SEC, my top priority in the Senate is to provide efficient and effective constituent service to all Virginians. So hopefully many other senators can give a similar positive response. He has received the Privacy Act release. My staff member has been assigned to your case as part of an excellent team that is dedicated to serving Virginia. So great um, news so far. I realise it is a matter of concern. I will begin work on your case by contacting the SEC Please allow 30 days for a response in this matter. In addition, I ask that you refer the case number in all correspondence. And uh, again, uh, tremendous uh, news here from Mark. Uh, and uh, hopefully we get some uh, follow up on this within the 30 days. Let's now have a look at news with regard to the 40,000 letters that have been sent to Congress from members of the MMTLP community. So headline here from the Frank Nez website. 40,000 MMTLP letters have now been sent to Congress. So this is absolutely tremendous. Uh, and uh, in the article it states here, uh, these letters have been sent within the 236 days of the U3 halt, uh, where we had MMTLP delisted. So MMTLP investors have been reaching out to members of Congress. Remember, this is a campaign that we started very, very early uh, and obviously sending out complaint forms in addition to the SEC, FINRA, Department of Justice, as well as the media. Uh, so obviously what started uh, um, as an event that was shoved under the carpet is now making headlines. Obviously we are getting more and more people on board, especially Charles Bain, uh, who was um, one of the most prominent ones. Gary Gensler is aware of the situation 
in a direct face-to-face -face meeting um, with Anna and that was in April. Uh, unfortunately, the M FINRA MMTLP blue sheet motion was dismissed. So that we're, we're obviously we're talking about the Rosa case there as well. Uh, and with the, regards to the Richard Hoffman case, but I believe these are not over. So Mark Basile case is still uh, currently ongoing. As well as that, we have had the 15 members of Congress who signed the letter uh, so uh, tremendous um, uh, movement so far. Next shout out here is to Pops who's uh, thanking uh, Russ Ful uh, Fulcher for a response to your visit to your office. Your staff were compassionate and professional uh, and your constituents from Idaho appreciate your attention and assistance. So another example here. So let's have a look uh, of positive development. So let's have a look at this um, letter from Ross Fulcher, who is another member of Congress, and he's responded to one of the investors by the name of Mr. Christensen, who stated, thank you for the opportunity uh, to be of service. I have placed a congressional inquiry into the SEC on your behalf. I anticipate that a response from them will be sent to my office within two to six weeks, and I will keep you apprised and development of developments as they occur. So again, very similar to the other one. Uh, so slowly and surely we are making uh, progress and uh, we need much more uh, senators on board like these. And now I'd like to have a look at some broker updates. So the first broker we're going to look at is Weeble. So shout out here to Junk Savvy who shared some important information and that is Weeble has, uh, have opened a new window to transfer your MMTLP placeholder shares to Nextbridge Hydrocarbons deadline to transfer is the 25th of August 2023, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. In terms of the fees, they are saying it's $75 for electronic transfer and $235 for physical certificates. So I can certainly see which is the better option there. And uh, Fidelity, uh, shout out here to Bonzi, who stated here's the latest response uh, from Fidelity. Uh, regarding transfer of your shares from the broker to AST and uh, what Fidelity uh, shared with Bonsi is the issuer chose not to make next next ne ne which hydrocarbon shares DTC eligible which means shares can't be cannot be sent electronically they can be sent by paper certificate with the transfer and ship process a hundred dollar fee covers associate costs so straight away here we can see a clear difference between brokers uh, especially here with um, Weeble and Fidelity so I think fidelity certainly need to have another update that's not a great response and uh, finally i'd like to have a look at tick symbol tup this is something that we have been keeping an eye on and uh, this is something you can see here initially we call this on 24th of july 2023 in our daily stock alerts it's also being been in our weekly watch list uh, where we looked at obviously this as a high risk potential squeeze stock which could pull back or continue to shoot up uh, so certainly trade with care and what we did see today if we have a look at the chart for today again we have seen a very very strong uh, pullback today down approximately 30 percent that time of editing three dollars and 75 and i think at one point it did reach a price of five dollars and 38 uh, so if we have a look at the one month chart here at one point it was up um, in excess of 768 percent where it reached a price of around about five dollars and 38 we can see pullback now has been quite significant at $3.76 at time of editing but even so it's still up in, in excess of 358% uh, so again another good reason to always take profits in such uh, stocks because when they go up um, like they like we have just seen they certainly come down very very quickly so finally thank you very much for watching please stay tuned